Today, folks, we're making beef braised short ribs. Hey, listen, you want to talk about something that's tender, you serve these on top of some potatoes, some mashed potatoes, and with that little gravy that is going to render, ooh-wee. Now, I want you guys to come here and take a look at this. You can see right now, look, I'm going to be using my Dutch oven, right? This is how I'm going to be browning them. And then if you take a look over here in these ingredients, there's not a whole lot to it. And I tell you guys all the time on my channel, man, sometimes just simple just works. And for the star, I'm going to go ahead and put these out right here. Look at the size of these ribs right here. Ooh-wee. Okay, folks, look, first thing we're going to do is, because listen, this is going to go nice and fast, right? First thing we're going to do is we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Now, with that happening like that, look, remember in the beginning I said everything is like just sometimes simple works, right? So we got beef broth. Now, a lot of times when people make this, they make it, you know, using that red wine. You can do that. But this is for all my people that don't do any type of liquor or the people that sometimes they just can't see it with their brain, you know, with cooking with some type of alcohol, right? So first thing I'm getting ready to do is I'm finna go ahead and I'm finna just prep. I'm getting ready to prep my celery, carrots, and my onions. Got this dice down. I went ahead and did the onion. You guys, I don't want to bore nobody. And you know what? You know what I hadn't said? I want to tell everybody, don't forget the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below, right? So the video is just like your instructional guide. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just put some fire underneath the bottom of here. I'm gonna start with like a medium flame. I don't know if you guys are able to see that. You know what I mean? Uh, that's good. We'll start getting this going, right? Look, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a couple of tablespoons, you know, infused olive oil. If you don't have infused olive oil, it's okay. You know what I mean? Uh, any olive oil, I like the extra virgin way. Now, I want you to pay attention right here. Let's come over here and look at this meat, right? So, this has already been cleaned. I just put them back on here. I call myself patting them dry. I see a little moisture there, but it's okay, right? Now, I'm gonna take some kosher salt and I'm gonna go ahead and just start to season. Okay, so if you guys pay attention and you were looking at this, you might say that it might have a, like a little bit of salt, right? But listen, this is beef. And these, you know, short ribs right here been cut. Look at the thickness of that. It'll take it. So now you want to come with your, you know, your pepper, right? Meanwhile, our oven is up to temp, right? We got all of our veggies done. Okay, so now we're going to start our browning process, right? You could just see, seasoned all the way. I'm going to go ahead and just start. Uh, I'll start on the top and I'll start moving them around, right? So we just add those. And I like to start with the ones that are like about the same size. Okay, folks, look, now you guys get a chance to see how it look. You want to get a nice brown color. And listen, you hear that right there? That's that little crusty top. Remember that salt, that pepper we put on there? Mainly just the, uh, the pepper and that fat. That's what we want to have because that's the, a lot of that flavor, right? So now we're going to move over here. I went ahead, I drained some of my fat, because listen, that had a lot of fat on the, you know, the ribs, right? So I drained just a little bit, and now we're going to go ahead. I see I'm up to heat. I can see just a little puff of smoke. Now we're going to go ahead and just add some onions to it. That's about all the onion I'm going to add to it. You know what? After looking at this right here, why am I holding anything back? Now we're just going to go ahead and let this start to absorb, you know, and release. When I say absorb, it's absorbing flavor. Right, and releasing the onion in, and everything is just marrying. What I'm doing is, I start with this first. If you've been following me for a minute, and I know chefs and everybody tell me it doesn't really make a difference, just put them in there. I always do my onions first, because it seems like it takes the onions a little bit longer to break down. Okay, so look, I didn't let it get about a minute and a half head start, right? Now I'm coming with my celery. Let me just give it a mix, right? Oh yes, yeah, absorbing everything. Now, finally, we're getting ready to add our carrot. All right, folks, now for AB's favorite time, right? Look, load up my little press. Got my little three cloves of garlic. Look right here. Don't look at my mouth, because I'm finna be smiling, folks. I don't know why this makes me smile, but it do. All right? Get it like that. And we just put it right here on the top. All right, now we finna come with the tomato paste, right? On this right here, close to, you know, what you can get out of a tablespoon works. And what you wanna do is you just wanna give it a mix like this. So let's look in this pot one more time. You see that right there? That's that money. Right off the back, you know that's gonna be fire, right? Now, this is when I come with, ta-da, check it out. That's my bee seasoning. 
This is when you want to season up a little bit. You know what I mean? Get that to work in there and just to marry, to marry here before we go ahead and put our broth in. Now, when you usually say, you know, braised short ribs, a lot of times that, you know, has wine in it. But I'm gonna skip this again. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but the reason I'm doing that, because everybody don't, you know what I mean? I don't want nobody to feel like they gotta take a chance. This right here tastes good just using the beef broth. Go ahead and add your bay leaves. I just push them down. You know what I mean? I try not to, you know, break them up. You know what I mean? Just get them in there like that. I'm gonna add a little oregano to it. All right. But now we back to a boil. Look at that right there. That right there is where we're gonna wanna soup up, sop up, and pour that over the top of some. If you ask me, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make me some uh, mashed potatoes. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and reintroduce myself, you know what I mean, to the pot. Not for y'all. I just gotta put these short ribs in here. And this is how we're gonna get them to go be tender, right? So once we get them in here, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure they all covered. And then I'm gonna put them in the oven and we're gonna go in the oven probably for about, I'm gonna say two and a half to three hours. But I, I'm gonna set a timer for like two hours and 25 minutes, you know, cause I wanna check the tenderness. We already at 350 degrees. I'm gonna put this inside the oven and we're gonna go for two hours and 25 minutes, right? That's when we're gonna check for tenderness. And this is what we come up with right here. Look at that right there. Now I'm gonna get a toothpick so you guys can just see. You gotta do it to the desired tenderness that you like. But I just want to show you one thing. If the camera can just pick this up, you see this right here? Very lightly, if I just stick this in here, and you see that, I don't have to really put no pressure on it. All right, it go all the way through till we, ooh, touch the bottom. Then when I pull, you can see it doesn't have no resistance, right? So if you want your meat to have a little bit, you know, want to be a little bit more on the, I guess the tougher side, just go ahead and check it after two hours and figure out where you want to be. Oh my goodness. You know what, it take a lot to make me stop talking. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna go ahead and just put it like that and you tell me what you think. Now look, I wanna show you guys this. This is what is left, right? That's your onion, celery, carrot, you know, your seasoning, a little bit of the fat, you know, a whole, excuse me, a whole lot of the fat, you know, from your short ribs, right? Now you guys can do it two ways. You can go ahead and strain these if you don't want the veggies, but I want it all. So what I'm gonna do is, right now I got a tablespoon of cornstarch, normally, what I do is one part, or I just call it equal parts, right? But here, I like to go two part water, one part, you know, cornstarch, right? And we're just gonna thicken it up. Now you see it right there? Once you got it all mixed up, you're, you're sure that you don't have any, you know, white powder pockets or anything like that. Just go ahead and just add it. Cause we want to thicken it up, but we don't want it to be so thick, right? Okay, folks, look, there it is right here. I ain't gonna lie to you, that's a whole lot going on right there. If a man knocked this off, or a woman knocked it off, I may, may God help him, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and just give me a little bit of this, you know, beef. Look how I just tear and shred off. That's what you want, you know? Get you a little bit of the gravy. And I wanna say this, I left the veggies in there. Listen, I got it. You know what, I started out too because I was making a video, right? I'm not gonna be long, folks. You know what I mean? I worry about like the presentation, but I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a level up by having the veggies. They nice, soft, whole lot of flavor. I'm not finna over talk it. Cheers, folks. <laughs> hey, this right here fire. You know what I mean? This is what I mean when I'm talking about that season. It's time to, you know what I mean? We can like kind of like push away from being out on that grill. We can come in here, start using that oven, Dutch ovens, crock pot, all of that. And you can make something epic. Now, let me know down in the comment section below, what do you like what you've seen right here? How do you make yours? You know what I mean? Let's talk about it. Let's just open it up. Oh, and by the way, don't forget, I got a new channel called Bottoms Up with AB. That's where I'm making cocktails and mocktails, folks. Hey, listen, and then I'm pairing them with like different types of food also. I'm not gonna give you that one. I want you guys to go by, you know, support the channel, check it out. It's gonna be some cool things on there. Everything ain't gonna be a cocktail, but listen, I'm not finna over talk it. So check it out, tell everybody out there, Listen, there's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I'm keeping looking down because there's, a, you know, the aromatics is coming off of this and hitting me right in the nose. So you know what, folks? I'm out. Peace.